Hey guys, it's Victoria, and I'm so happy that you had time for a TCA Minute. We've already discussed what DAS is, but there are a couple of things that may not make sense, or you may be wondering what the easiest way to implement DAS is for your particular case. Thankfully, we know that there are a couple of services that are generally the perfect road to getting you started on a DAS solution, and today to discuss what they are is not only going to be TCA Henry Ramos and intern Alec, but we're adding TCA Connor Gridley into the mix to make sure we have all the help we need. I hope you guys enjoy what they have to say. Hi Henry and Connor. Hi Alec, what are we going to talk about today? So we talked about DAS on another call, and I'd like to know how would a customer slowly get to a DAS solution? I believe to get to a DAS solution, we should always start with Premier Support as the first step. How come? Well, tell me what you know about Premier Support now and how it compares to our regular warranty. So I know when it comes to Premier Support, customers gain access to a 24-7 dedicated phone line. They get advanced technicians and a technical account manager. On top of this, they also get advanced reporting for their machines. That, that's correct. It's better than regular depot on next day support, right? Those are only hardware only. So for example, if the hardware part doesn't pass diagnostics, we replace the part. But sometimes it's more complicated than that. It may be the driver conflicting with some software. I believe the next step to DAS would be Premier Support Plus Lenovo Device Intelligence. And why is that? Lenovo Device Intelligence Plus is a new offering that gives your existing fleet the following information. It's a cloud-based tool that collects agents from your fleet in real time. It's designed to give you the analytics and data points to resolve issues, such as root cause correlation. The same dashboard will give you insight into possible issues that may happen. So overall, this information will help the end user experience. The way LDI leads into DAS is this service can be procured on a monthly basis or a yearly basis, and you can turn it off as needed. It's similar to a video streaming service after you do your one-year commitment. Henry, don't customers already have access to that information? Some do, but it's spread out over several systems and it's not organized in a clear manner. Microsoft for sure has the information and is working on their own flavor of this but it's tied to an E5 level agreement. Fortunately, the cost of Lenovo device intelligence is much less than a, a E5 agreement with Microsoft. And other folks may not just go all the way on the Microsoft bandwagon. So how does this ultimately lead up to DAS? Your customers become used to this information on a, a monthly subscription. And what that will do is for for an additional cost, we can actually roll the hardware into a monthly subscription, and that will ultimately lead into DAS. This way, your, your staff can be freed up uh, to do IT projects, and Lenovo can be the first, second, and third level help desk for them. Victoria, back to you. Fantastic work, guys. It's so great to hear that there are a lot of easy ways that DAS can start happening and awesome services that can get us there. If you guys are looking for any extra information, definitely get in contact with your TCA or check out some of our other video resources for more information. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.